Today I'm going to show you how to make a sparkling, merry and bright holiday Christmas tree. Now that we've magically base coated this rock with gesso and white paint, I'm going to take a pencil and line out a simple triangle Christmas tree. I had it in my head that I wanted to use rose gold paint because that just sounded like a fun combination. So we're going to use rose gold metallic paint to fill in the triangular part of the Christmas tree. You will probably need two to three coats because it's metallic paint and the brush strokes tend to show in the metallic paint until you get a nice solid fill. take this glitterific fine rose gold glitter paint this is a little more spectacular than my normal folk art glitter paints I think that's what the glitterific is all about but it's very pretty and I'm just gonna take a nail dotting tool and kind of swoop a garland down the tree use a fine line paintbrush. This is a disposable eyeliner brush to just kind of smooth out the little lines where it might get a little gloppy. Next I'm going to add one dot of silver paint at the top of the tree, smooth it out with a brush, and then take a nail dotting tool and add some dots around it. Then I'm going to follow up by adding dots of the silver paint to the Christmas tree like ornaments and then use white paint which is the same as our background to also add some ornaments. Now I'm going to take a black Posca paint pen a PC 1M sized and I'm going to write merry and bright. I'm going to write merry in print and then bright in script but you can do whatever is most comfortable to you. Now I'm just going to thicken up those script letters anywhere that the pen was in a downstroke and then add my little notches to the print. To give additional sparkle to the design I'm going to take a large nail dotting tool and take that same glitterific paint and then outline the entire border of the design so that the sparkle from the tree picks up on the sparkle that's outlining the design. I'm also going to add a couple hearts with the nail dotting tool on either side of the word Mary because I just can't stop with this paint. It's so sparkly. And just look how pretty this is with a little bit of resin and the sunlight hitting that glitter paint. It's so dainty and beautiful. I just love how this came out. You could also experiment with some other colors. I used pink and gold with this one and on another stone I used blue and silver. So you could play around, maybe you don't have the rose gold paint or maybe you don't even wanna use the metallic paint, use some regular matte paint. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future uploads and click right here to watch the last day of Rocksmith. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch and I'll see you next time. Take care.